James Calm, the guy on the bike, but I'm not on the bike tonight. But I'm reporting from Brooklyn's Industry City. And we're here to celebrate Coming Together Surviving Sandy. Oh, hey, there's Ron Gorchoff. Uh, this is probably one of the biggest uh, Brooklyn art shows in the last 20 years, maybe 25 years. I think there are 300 artists. And the show was curated by Fong Bui. I'm gonna go in and catch a little bit of this. Well, they've got uh, quite an amazing turnout this evening. Probably thousands of people. Oh, hey, hey there's the curator right there. There's Fong. This poor guy's been working on this pretty, pretty seriously for the last five or six months. Well, they not only have 66,000 square feet of space inside, but they also have, uh, uh, I don't know what, another 10, 11, 20,000 square feet out here. And as I understand it, they're going to be um, having some performances here, some big names. Some uh, beautiful major pieces by Joanne Pusa Dart. Joanna. Her dad was uh, Richard Pusa Dart. And uh, she's definitely carrying on the great tradition. Some major Alex Katz pieces. Oh, that's fitting. Water. This is a great opportunity for people to want to show large paintings. Oh boy, we got a couple of major Ronnie Landfield paintings. Now I know that uh, Ronnie's entire studio got inundated and uh, he was on the west side of Manhattan. And uh, Ronnie was very lucky in that he was uh, quick enough to treat his paintings with uh, maybe bleach and some other kind of solution that stopped them from molding. Well, I'm having a hard time uh, following the, the list of names of artists, but uh, I was impressed with this installation. So I've got a whole, it's like a uh, living room. It looks like it's all cast in uh, aluminum. We've got credenzas, paintings. We've got a couch that's been burned out. Over the sofa painting. Very impressive. This is Dustin Yellen and uh, Justin studio there on uh, the Pioneer Works on Pioneer Street was uh, inundated with about five feet of water. These pieces are uh, sandwiched between sheets of glass. A nice 3D effect, but uh, it's involved. 
involves tons of glass. Oh gee, there's there's Robert Storr, former uh, painting and sculpture creator at the Museum of Modern Art, and now I think he's the dean of the uh, art school at Yale. Wow. This looks like a happening place. Uh, I gotta believe this is a Chris Martin piece. Yeah, it's, seems like Chris can't really uh, stretch out unless he's got a painting that's about 12 feet tall. his mushrooms in there. Patty Johnson. Well, we've got a wall installation here by Stefan Antonakos. And uh, I'm not sure, but I think Stefan might have passed away uh, in the last month or two. Patrician Oakheim Athens. Lemenius Street, Athens. So maybe he's collected these branches from various places in Athens and uh, he's got some Greek coins. And uh, I was told that this is the, uh, the textual ghetto. So this is where people that use text have been stashed. It's a piece by Wendy White. Well, Wendy is one of the uh, hot young painters these days. It's actually uh, pretty nice, a pretty large painting. I'd say that's probably uh, 8 by 10 feet. Some other pieces here by E.J. Hauser. This one is Forget Me Not. E.J. is pretty interesting. Some of her smaller pieces. Moonflower. is breaking the rules with the stretchers and the, uh, the canvas here. Well, I'm thinking and I'm hoping that these are pieces by John Newman. Nice little tabletop sculptures. This one with the twine. And uh, I like the paint on the sculpture. I've been told I need to look out the window here and uh, There's the Green Lady, that's the Statue of Liberty. Okay viewers, that's it for part one. This show is just too damn big, so you're gonna have to come back for part two. Stay tuned.